and welcome to Sinda PC where right now is 19.30 in the evening yet again a very 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 late recording session not as late as yesterday but late anyway because today I'm gonna go to the gym which means that I don't have that much time to record anyway. Oh, I know, isn't it just the biggest struggle? When you have made plans with someone and then you realize that something else is coming up because you weren't as quick as you thought you were gonna be with the thing that you were doing before. So that actually dragged out on the time and then that time that you have actually planned to do something else, for me right now is doing this, uh, is getting cut because, well, you need to go and do something else. So you actually have a deadline that you have to, you know, meet because you're going to meet someone else. And you don't want to say that your time is more important than their time because that's just old uh, ludicrousy right? That's just ludicrous saying that. So basically what you do is that you cut everything short and you're like, ah, I might just take one or two shots even though I wanted to do like three cuts. Maybe in the end I'm gonna do that. Uh, if you're not one of those people who tend to uh, <laughs> say that, well you know what, my thing dragged over there so this thing that I did before I met you was, uh, well that dragged as well so I just tended not to care about you even though we together had actually planned something together and all the things leading up to this thing that we had planned together was only with me but I don't really care about that because I think that my time is more important than yours which means that even though you met the deadline I'm not going to I'm not saying that this has happened to me over the last 22 years at any point ever but I'm saying that I've heard the stories yeah I'm not at all saying this happened to me I'm just saying there is the stories that this has happened to some people out there yeah Yes. Anyway, mates, I'm trying not to be one of those people. So I'm going to be done with this by half past eight. I know, it's crazy. So that means, yet again, like half an hour, an hour to record, edit, process, pfft, do all of those things. Hopefully, it's going to go all good, going to be all great. Anyway, mates, not to increase the time up here or there. I still don't even really know. Uh, we're going to get straight into it. And today, we're going to talk about is jokes. No. S yeah, is it still okay? even in the internet era to tell jokes because you can't really control who is going to listen to your jokes now can you and I have a bit of a side thing do people who tell jokes have a responsibility to the listener Ooh. and is it you or is it me who the blame is going to be put on depending on how you interpret the comment or how you interpret the joke. For instance, right, I've been looking a lot at Bo, Ger uh, Bo Burnham l uh, l uh, lately and he, you know, has different songs and they're all good, it's all fine, they're all dandy and I thought that one of his, ah, oh, one of his jokes was hilarious, right? So I told it to a friend of mine and as we were discussing two days ago, it's all about context, yeah? When you gave in a joke, sometimes people don't laugh because you are you or because, well, they aren't really invested in the joke. You can't really bash out on it, you know, as you would on stage an entire sketch if you're sitting in a classroom and people are just looking at you and you're just like, well, I'm going to anticipate that everybody's looking at me and having their focus attained to me and I'm gonna tell the joke here, right? No, that's probably not what's tends to happen. Uh, simultaneously, you uh, kind of need to think about what it's okay to joke about since some people don't think that everybody, everything is okay to joke about. So combining those two things, I was saying like, hey, I saw a kid go, you know, I saw a, uh, what was the joke again? You know, this is also a reason for why I'm not that good with jokes because I don't tend to remember them. So the joke I was telling was kind of, um, I, I saw a kid with an insulin pump trick-or-treating you know Bo Burnham tells it better it's in one of his songs anyway it's not really the moral of the story here yeah it's not really the point of the story even though I dragged it out and make it out to be so some people you know, were just like that's a really stupid joke because that my friend combines things that aren't okay to joke about and as we were discussing yesterday I was like well I think that everybody's opinion is valid that also means that my opinion is equally not more not less as valid as your own sir so that means that none of us technically right is to be put to blame here when it comes to a comment, when it comes to a joke, because I do believe, certified with my own opinion, think that I can joke about anything. If you can't take anything, isn't that up to you? Yet again, I'm on one side of the discussion here. If you can sway me over with a comment or with a uh, argument, then I will probably be swayed over, because that's how you should go into a discussion. Right, mates? Right. Anyway. But so we did started discussing this entire joke. You know, the insulin pump, you can't actually say that, because that's not... 
you know, diabetes, diabetes it is. Yeah, a guy, a, a, a kid with diabetes trick-or-treating. Which, in my opinion, yeah, hilarious, right? Because it's the irony and everything, right? Or the sadness, one can say. But I thought it was hilarious, and they were taking it up, you know, oh, it's not okay to joke about that, and I'm like, okay, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Not that I really considered other people's arguments to be like, blah, 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 but in this case, it kind of were, because they were just restating the same point over and 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 over again, which I was just sitting there like, mm-hmm, yeah, sure, okay, I totally realize what you're saying here, but I don't care. You said it like 15 minutes ago, and the last 15 minutes you've been saying the same. You know, be original in your conversation and in your argumentation. Tends to bring a lot more people along on your train of thought, now wouldn't it? Now wasn't it? Anyway, so we came to the conclusion, or we came to the butt of the joke, so to say. We came to the nitty grit of it. And that was that, well, where have you heard this joke? Because you obviously wouldn't come up with such a brilliant joke by yourself that you delivered... ...semi-broken, I can argue that... Well, I can't really argue against that point. <laughs> anyway, so we came to this entire argument that, well, I saw it online, it was this and this guy saying it in this and this context, and they were looking at it, and they were like, it's horrendous that people can look at people like this on the internet. It's rather, actually, it's, it's so bad that people on the internet, yeah, people on YouTube especially, can go out and you speak to mind as if they wouldn't care who listens to it. And that's kind of what we're going to discuss today. And something that I thought was really funny is that I went up to one of my mates and I was thinking out, hmm, I have a bit of a paradox for most people when it comes to actually discussing this point of view. And that is, one, can you joke about everything? And most people of the same mind, I would argue, right? I'm not clanking down on you if you don't agree with me. I'm just saying that from my perspective, from where I'm standing, this is the case. Uh, most people with the same mind would probably say that, can you joke about everything? Yes, you can. Um, if you can't take, like, who's the responsibility on uh, when it comes to joking? Is it is it okay to joke about everything? Because then you technically say that everybody can joke about anything as long as it comes from a good place and that, you know, it doesn't really matter how you distribute it because the people who are going to listen to it isn't really your problem. And people tend to say yes to that too if they said yes to the first statement. And then I said, well, but do people who are uh, role models have a responsibility over people looking up to them. And they're like, eh, well, yes, they do. And I'm like, but, but you thought, but, but you said that you can joke about everything and it doesn't matter who, who gets, you know, uh, in contact with the joke. And simultaneously, you say that if someone is elevated to a status of, uh, well, people looking up to them, they can do whatever they want. However, this is the exactly the same thing. You have someone online just, Articulating a joke that pe that they can't really control who is listening to right, but people who are following this person is probably going to listen to that joke And you're saying that is okay. However, the person over here, right, who is saying that mm -mm, I'm just famous you can't say whatever you want, but the comedian can but if the comedian is famous Does that mean that the comedian is only famous and can't say whatever they want because people are interpreting it and listening to it and actually looking up to them or does it mean that the famous people can do as the comedians and just say whatever they want, as long as it's funny, and they shouldn't even care about, well, what other people say and listen to them? And I thought that sparked quite an interesting discussion. Not the discussion that I can follow up on, because, well, that's basically the entire thing. I'm just presenting it out there because I wasn't actually going back and forth because I had to leave, unfortunately. Even though I thought that, well, this could lead to a rather really fast, face feasty, uh, rather feisty argument, you know, English isn't my native language, and it isn't my main skill either. Uh, neither is comedy, by the way. So this is the perspective of an, of an out uh, outsa outsa outsider. This is the perspective of an out out. Wow, I, I really try there to be funny, but I couldn't even deliver it. This is the perspective of a comedic outsider. Yeah, finally, the pronunciation on point. Finally, after what, like six or seven different tries? Anyway, so trying to get back to what we are discussing here today, let me just take a break and look at me notes. Still okay in an internet era when you can't really control who is listening to your jokes? I would argue yes. Would you argue against it? Because as I was going through yesterday, if you can joke about everything, it's based on the on two assumptions. One, it's coming from a good place, because nobody wants to be the person who jokes about things that comes from a bad place, because you probably can look at yesterday's video if you want to have a... Uh, a uh, what should we say? An exploration of that topic. And second of all, 
you need to know that nobody in your audience is pro rather you need to be able to assume that the people that is in your audience aren't going to be the people who are in the risk zone so to say of doing the things that you talk about for instance let's just take again like borderline pedophilia some people think that that is not okay to joke about other people like really big comedians like take for instance Jimmy Carr again and um, say that you know that's okay that's a-okay well because it's understood that I'm joking it's understood that all of you are laughing not because you think that that's a rather brilliant idea no because you all think that well that sounds really sane uh, that that shouldn't be the case and you're obviously not ta telling the truth and obviously not just speaking your mind on the subject which makes it hella funny because it's that kind of shock factor that you wouldn't do that, I know you wouldn't do that, ha ha ha, you wouldn't do that. But it's kind of funny that you say it though. You know, as I said, every joke is more funny when you try to explain and analyze it. Am I right, people? Anyway, but what you kind of take up here then is that, well, if we have this kind of internet context, as I was saying in the beginning of the video, when I took this up to one of my mates, uh, or I'm saying a mate, it's more of an acquaintance, really. Uh, we were discussing this idea that, well, Bo Burnham said that joke, even though I delivered it terribly, it still came from the internet, and how can someone put that on the internet when they can't really control who is listening to it? And that's a really good, valid argument, I would say. It's a good and valid point of discussion to have. Because if you think about it, if I put this out online, I don't really have the control over who is watching it, right? Could go viral, could spread over the school, could spread over this building that I live in, cannot spread at all. It could actually just be that I'm uploading this and it's dead until the end of time could be the case as well now I don't hope it for it to be but it could be the case as well but the kind of the common denominator is that I can't really control who is going to see this more than the people that I explicitly go and show it to if I do that I'm not saying that I do that but if I explicitly go and show it to someone I can control who is going to watch it however who they are going to then later on show this video to I don't have that much of a control over. Sure, I can say that don't show this to anybody else. Not that I probably would, but I could, right? And that could be a kind of controller to say that, well, I want to show everybody this video. But if that's really your goal and your option, then you should probably just download it on your phone when you're done and not release it to the internet. Why am I saying downloading? I mean transferring when you processed it in your... Uh, well, editing software, put it on your phone or wherever, and then you go off and showing it offline to people and don't let them take clips of it because you don't want to distribute it. But in my case, I kind of do, right? I want people to see this, I want to raise the discussion, I want to talk about things. And I can only imagine that most people are putting a lot of money, effort and time into developing these different comedical sketches and then releasing them on YouTube. Uh, you know, the people who do want to release it on YouTube, not the unfortunate thing that everybody's releasing them anyway, but anyway. Uh, or if you're releasing a DVD, in a sense, uh, you can't really control who is going to go and watch the video or the DVD that you've uploaded or that you've released, right? I mean, there's going to be all up to the person who's buying it to be on the same page that, well, I'm going to watch this thing, right? And this is a comedic sketch with explicit language, let's just say. Uh, that probably means that I need to be of a certain mindset before watching this and that has been the common, what should we say, understanding as long as the DVDs has been going on for. Because I haven't really seen anyone raising this argument with a VOH, with a VHS tape or a DVD or a Blu-ray for that matter, or an HD DVD, whatever you want to call it these days. I'm losing track of it. You know, technology is just racing past me. I'm not current anymore. So what we're left with is that people are, didn't really raise this discussion of this argument. At least I'm not, no, I'm not aware of it at least when it was DVDs, but now that it's on the internet, now that it's so widely accessible, especially to kids where you can't really set any real parenting, parenting control over them. I mean, you can on YouTube to a certain degree, but they can probably get around it. Why? Well, because they're more te technically inclined than you are, most likely, right? Because you're from what, the 90s, the 90s, the 80s? These kids who are born today, I mean, just wind it back like five years, uh, those kids can probably beat you in a program programming contest if they wanted to. Uh, because they've been growing up with all of these things, you know, an iPad or a Samsung uh, tablet or whatever, or a phone, no, none of these things matters. I mean, to me, it's like, whoa, amazing, this replaced the book. To them, it's more like, well, mate, I can go through these things, demolish them, pick them together again, and just, you know, I know where every cranny sits in this machine. So they can probably get around every conceivable parenting control uh, aspect if they really wanted to. 
So you cannot really control who is watching your video in that sense. And that is probably where the discussion is raised from, where the, what should we say, the butt of it is raised from, where the real problem comes in. People are always dragging it to that point. Doesn't matter if you're distributing it and making hundreds of millions of people happy in the world. Because that one person who watches it and get hurt, that's the person we're going to care about. And sure, there is a valid argument for that to be true. There are many people who have this kind of perspective, no matter what they're talking about, that as as long as someone can get hurt, it doesn't matter how many it helps. It's kind of the opposite to utilitarianism now, isn't it? So that is kind of the uh, main problem, or what should we say, the main, uh, hmm, the main offense of this uh, point of view, the main offense of uh, the entire discussion. So is it really good to, well, are you really allowed to put something out on the internet that you can't really control who is going to watch it? Now I'm saying yes, that's just my standpoint, right? Yet again. I'm objective, not objective, wow, that sounded weird, I'm subjective like everybody else, but I can change my mind, I'm open-ended, right, I'm open-minded, if you come with a different argument, but what I'm thinking, right, and this might just be me, but I think that many people share this condiment, is that, or this consensus, is that, if I'm watching something, as I said before, I'm probably going in with the mindset, yeah, that this is something that I kind of know what it's going to be like. It probably says something along with explicit in the title, it probably says who it is in the title, it probably says what it's gonna be about in the title, and if it doesn't, you can probably read some comments about it if it isn't like it uploaded exactly the moment that you're watching it. Uh, and even if that is the case, even if that isn't the case, we're saying the worst case scenario, you can't really come up with how or what or why this is, and then you go in and then you look at it about 10 minutes in, you should probably be aware of what kind of show it is. Then you can make a choice. You can either sit through and watch the rest of the, what, like, what, one and a half hours, or you can get out of there, right? So it's up to you who's watching it. You have all the control, right? All the control of your own situation. People are arguing, though, that people shouldn't have that control and they should be shielded from their own stupidity. I can see that reason in some, you know, in some context. This is not one of them. I'm arguing that, well, if you feel like you don't want to watch this, then don't watch it. I know, it's kind of a mind twister, that one, yeah? But if you don't want to watch it, then we don't watch it. So that means it doesn't matter if you're a comedic, uh, or sorry, if you're a comedian on YouTube or Twitch or wherever you are, right? It doesn't really matter where you are because just like a TV, a DVD, a Blu-ray, an HD DVD, or yeah, yet again, back to television, you can't really control who is going to watch what you're doing, right? I mean, sure, you can air it in later hours, you can put some form of age restriction onto it, but more than that, as I said, people will probably be able to get around that even if they wanted to. Or if they want to, really want to. So you can't really shield people from that. Um, so I would argue it's not your problem. Rather, the judge is not on you for releasing something, for releasing a joke. It's up for the people who's interpreting it to be able to understand that it's a joke. Once, uh, you know, for the first of it. Realize it's a joke. Second of all, understand that, well, this is coming from a good place. And then it's all about the interpretation, what they're there interpreting as a good and a bad place, because they can see something and maybe something happened in their lives quite recently that makes them feel like everything that is in relation to this topic you can't joke about because I'm traumatized by this. Should we cater our entire society and our entire train of thought around that specific incident or should we just look at the general populace and see what is best for everybody or what is best for the general person, right? And I can see that if you do that to one to some degree, that's not good either. You shouldn't drag it along as far as you could. But in this specific case, I think that that is how you should look at it. That, that it's that many more people who's getting a kick out of it, right? In a good way than there are people getting offended in a bad way. So, yes, when you're uploading things to the intranet, to the intrawebs, mates, uh, you shouldn't actually care who's going to watch it. You should just be blasting off a good comedic show if that is what you're doing, right? And obviously, in the context, we're talking about comedy here. Um, <laughs> this entire video is about that subject. I hope that I made that abundantly clear. Otherwise, I'm doing it now. It's boss about comedy. You can blast off and put the time into making something that you think is really comedic and you should upload it. You should stand for it, and it's up for the people who are watching it to say that either it's funny or it's not funny, or that it's acceptable or not acceptable. But I would argue that if you think it's acceptable, put it out there. And then it's up to the people who watch it to say if they agree or disagree. If they disagree, they can go away. If they agree, you just brought some joy into the world. Now, isn't that great? Anyway, mates, that was all for me from today. Have a nice one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, with more stress. <laughs>